helicopters in the area. We've got enemy activity nearby. Supply trucks getting Opening away. Fire. Let's go ahead and loot the truck. We're clear. We done? Shit, I kinda got all excited there. Out of the car, now. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Hang America on, fucking hell! That we can create the world that we all wish to live in. Giving works, and Santa Blanca gives to Bolivia. The Santa Blanca cartel is making large strides in purging the country of your rebel menace. But we can't do it alone. Este insulso de Pacatari and his rebels, autodefensas, talk of raising you out of poverty, of putting control of the country's destiny in the hands of the farmer. But Pacatari lies. Fire, fire, fire. I copy. Like Fuck. Engage. Promises. But all they want is power. Control. All across the Balls. Escort vehicle is destroyed. Their ult is escaping. Got movement on the road. Looks like a cartel resupply convoy. Whole lot of folks deserve that food more than Santa Blanca. We could stop that convoy and secure the food truck for the rebels. Bowman, we just crossed into Barvechos. Good news. Sueño sent an accountant named Polpo to Barvechos to check out Nidia Flores' books. Word is Polpo is a hawk. He doesn't let anyone cut any corners. So if she's skimming from Sueño or not, Nidia is not happy to have Polpo looking into her. The cartel smuggles its profits into Barvechos from Brazil, and the most... That... Through Banco de Barbecho. With Pulpo already about to gum up the works, there has to be some way we can use that to sabotage the entire process. Maybe Sueño already believes Nidia Flores has six fingers. To know for sure, we need to get hands on Pulpo. Our intel places his junior partner and right hand man, a guy named Wagner, at a silver mine in Barbechos. Grab Wagner and make him cough up Pulpo's location. Area secure. We'll pass word to the rebels and tell them where to find the food truck. Let's go. A friendly neighborhood CIA officer just sent us a video. Who's got the popcorn? All the Sicarios in the world ain't worth piss if you don't have the accountants to wash the money clean. Octavio Allende is the accountant that does Sueño's laundry. They call him El Pulpo, the octopus, because he's got his tentacles everywhere. You take him out, a lot of other pieces no longer connect, but I want to use him as a weapon. Pulpo is management, and he knows it. Instead of an AK-47, he has a briefcase, and he uses it to open doors to businesses, to cement relationships with politicians and police, and to make the cartel's money something they can spend. Thanks to El Pulpo, in addition to its illegal enterprises, Santa Blanca has its cash in numerous legit businesses. El Sueño has brought El Pulpo to Bolivia to audit Nidia Flores. Cash from Brazil comes into Barvechos, where much of it is laundered into the mining consortium. Nidia's profits must be looking a little light.
expecting a lady, but Nidia Flores? Better not roll this thing. Fine. <laughs> Word. And you know, I got so many other, like, Santa Blanca tats on my body and arms and stuff, and I don't have no single serious hyena, so I was like, shit, let's that ni- This AO is part of Santa Blanca's coke smuggling operation. Bowman's got files for us on all the major players. Woman in charge is Nydia Flores, an ex-beauty queen turned drug trafficker. Her right-hand man is a dude named El Boquita. Ugly motherfucker. Seems to handle on-the-ground logistics. She's the brains, he's the brawn. Santissima Muerte so loved the Santa Blanca cartel that she gave us her only begotten daughter, that whoever believeth in her should not perish, but have everlasting life. Many years ago, we were in trouble, in la desesperación, on the verge of extinction, being torn to pieces by the snakes and ratas. I believed that hope was lost, that it was too late for us, Era el fin. But just when I was ready to give up, it happened. Nidia Flores came forth, known to us as La Reina de Belleza, the Beauty Queen. And with her, she brought prosperity, wealth, and retribution. We feel her charity, su amor, deep in our hearts. As she continues to spread her gospel across the world, to every corner of the globe, praise to Saint Nidia, Queen of Queens, Reina de Reinas, Goddess among mongrels. They say every man has a fatal flaw. El Baquita's is love. A smuggler from the age of six, El Baquita's father used to tape Acapulco gold on his son's body and then send him across the border. He called these trips vacaciones familiares, family vacations. By the time he was 13, Baquita was a trapeciador, a master smuggler, cigarettes, alcohol, name brand clothes, DVDs, oil, wildlife, weapons, and of course, people. One time, he even smuggled in half a kilo of yellow cake uranium. If someone wanted it, El Baquito could move it. But it was never really about the money. For him, it was the rush. Until he met the beauty queen. Nydia Flores saw his talent and made him her right-hand man. Nydia was the brains. Baquita was the brawn. The thing is, he was head over heels from the moment he first laid eyes on her. Nydia never felt the same way, but... One drunken night she gave in. A little bit of sperm roulette, 
and nine months later, they had a daughter, Valeria. They say every man has a fatal flaw. El Bukita has two. Think I can wear this with my Class A uniform? Use and enroll them in schools overseas. We provide passports and pay all travel expenses. All right. right. So you want to comment on all these bullshit rumors that these teens are being used as drug mules? Hi. <laughs> I learned long ago that the best response to a lie is no response at all. Lydia Flores, la reina de belleza. Thanks for coming in. Anytime. Suaves y con carácter. Tabaco fino tostado a la manera tradicional. Humitos con filtro. La mejor compañía para quien sabe disfrutar el aroma de un buen cigarro. Humitos con filtro. A la venta en su estante favorito. Las mentes cerradas. The small minded will tell you that Santa Muerte is a dark religion, morbid and dangerous. I say that ordinary morality is for children and simpletons. An attraction to death has long been one of mankind's great taboos. And taboos are made to be broken. Why are we engaging? Shit, take cover! Get down. We got a man down. We got a fucking man down.
ask the rebels to send over a vehicle for us. Here's your right, compadre. I'll drive. We actually jumped them in a month later. <laughs> this is DJ Perico. Getting nostalgic on Santa Blanca Radio. I'm in. Let's go. Here we go. Looks like the cartel's getting ready for a supply run. Planes fueled and ready to go. You know the old saying, when life gives you supply planes, you take those fuckers and give them to your rebel friends. Am I right? Got a reference here to a large cartel prison at a village called Rosario. They keep a lot of rebel sympathizers there. Even the sloppiest prisons keep records. Yeah, the warden's office might have intel on some of these people who disappeared. Let's check it out. The camp's standing down. We're good. He's down. Engaging tangos. That was messy as shit. When no one else came to their aid, Santa Blanca on, was here. And why do we give charity to blame? Does it serve the cartel's bottom line to put the funds and effort into helping the poor and in need? Of course not. The Lord said, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Santa Blanca believes this, and as an agent of good, Santa Blanca knows that we can create the world that we all wish to live in giving works, and Santa Blanca gives to Bolivia. Son las nueve en punto. Más 
se sube ahorita y va a hacer mucho calor hoy por la tarde. Va a ser parecido por dos o tres días hasta el jueves, cuando la lluvia viene por la noche y hace mucho viento. Ten cuidado si viajas a las montañas y hasta la fin de semana va a ser mucho viento. Hasta mañana. Good work. The rebels will be damn glad to get their hands on this cargo. Let's head out. I'll tell them where to find the plane later.
Got eyes on a rebel radio. Let's fire it up. Gonna bring in a lot of SP. Like ringing the dinner bell for those fuckers. Drone is airborne. I think with all their money, the cartel would make a nicer metal. The mid is taking a lot of damage. Tango's inside the barn. That emitter's getting fucked up, man. We're letting him damage the emitter too much. That goddamn emitter's taking a lot of damage. Those Sicarios are shooting the hell out of this emitter. Damn it. Next time we need to hold out long enough to get out the whole message.
All right, we're good. Helicopter inbound. Chopper, down, down. Opening fire. The helo's done. We're clear. Gage. Tango's near the cap orbits. Cover, get to cover. Enemy activity nearby. Frag out. Come in here to Culeros. They're trying to get away in the truck. Oh, well, that was messy as shit. Yo, we got Unidad approaching. 